Hi guys, my name is Yash and today in this video we will see how you can use the coupons widget to create a coupons or deal section on your website using Elementor. For this open your page in the Elementor editor and then just look for the coupons widget and drag and drop it on the page. Once you have added it, it will look like this. The first thing that we will be doing here is making changes to the content tab. For this the first thing is the source tab. You can choose post or custom as your source. If you choose post, all your posts will start displaying here. If you choose custom, you get an option to add custom coupons here. Coupon widget can also be used with any standard post type or custom post type and it also works with Elementor's dynamic fields so the data can be displayed dynamically. You can choose your layout as grid or carousel from the layout option. If you choose carousel as your layout, it will display the coupons in a slider format and if you choose grid, it will automatically display all the coupons at once in a grid format. For this tutorial, I will be adding a total of 6 coupons, so I would go with the grid layout. You can also choose the number of columns you want your coupons to display in. Further, you can choose the coupon style. For example, if you select click to copy coupon, it will copy the code as soon as you click on the coupon. If you select the option click to reveal code and copy, it will first reveal the code and then automatically copy the code to the user's clipboard. So the code will be hidden until the point reveal coupon code is clicked on. Or else you can go with the no code needed text. Since for this tutorial we will not be displaying any coupon code, we can just go with no code needed and will remove the text for the same and the icon as well. Uh, regarding the image size, you can choose the size of image that you want your coupon section to display. And further you can also choose the HTML tag for your title. Now let's add the coupon details here. Let's start with the first coupon. Select the image like any other coupon image that you have. Add the coupon image here. Change the discount percentage or the text that you want to display here. And since I do not want to display the coupon code, I will just remove that. From the content tab, you can change the title and the description of your coupon easily by entering the text that you want to display there. Once you are done adding the content, you can go to the link tab and add the link for your coupon. When you have created your first coupon, you can just go ahead and duplicate the coupon to the number of coupons that you want to display here. For this tutorial, since I am going with 6 coupons, I will duplicate it 5 times. Let me just quickly add the content for all the coupons in this section here. You can add as many coupons as you want. For this tutorial, I am going with 6 coupons grid. But if you wish to add more coupons to your grid, you can definitely do it. So yeah, that was the last coupon I wanted to add. So here are all the content details that I wanted to add. Now let's move on to the link settings. Regarding the link, you can change how your coupon link looks and acts like. If you choose the box option, your whole coupon box will act as a link. If you choose the title option, only the title will have the link. As you can see, the link will only appear when I move the cursor over the title. And if you want to have a button in place for the link, you can do that too. I am going with the button as a link type here. If you want you can also change the text and the icon of your button easily from the settings. You can also enable or disable the separator which is above the button. I am going to enable that here. Once you are done making changes here, we will move to the style tab. From these settings you can make your coupons look more beautiful and attractive using the settings and customizations available here. For the coupon box, you can change the alignment, spacing, background, design border, radius etc. I will be adding a box shadow here. Once you are done making changes, we will move on to the discount subsection. This allows you to make changes to the discount percentage tab up here. You can change the positioning, typography, the font family, size etc. You can change the background color like whatever you want and can change the font color as well. 
You can also add border radius, padding and margins as per your likings. So it looks much better now. Now going to the coupon code. Uh, it allows you to change the coupon code text that we saw earlier. Since we do not have the code here as we are not doing that for this tutorial, we can skip this section. But if you had your coupon code appearing here, you can customize it however the way you want using the settings. For your content area, you can add padding. You can also customize the color, typography and the margin bottom for title and description separately. Once you are done making changes there, you can move on to the button customization which is the link customization. For the button, you can choose the size of the button that you want to display. You can also change the button spacing and alignment using the options. Further, you can change the text color and the background color easily and can customize the border and typography for the button. You can also customize the button icon separately by changing the color and size and spacing for the icon and can similarly customize the separator. After making all the changes, this is what my coupon section looks like. If you wish to change this grid layout into carousel, you can easily do that by selecting carousel from the layout option and the coupons will start displaying in that manner. Let me know what you think of this widget by commenting your thoughts down below and if you found this video useful do drop a like.